So over the next six months, my character, Craig Tinker from Coronation Street, is to undergo a transformation that's going to change his life. Craig has decided that he's bored of being the fat kid. But for that to happen, I have to do it too. So what I want to do is whilst you're watching Craig lose weight on telly, I want to show you how Coulson has done it in the real world. And to do that, I'm going to take you around my day-to-day -day life. So I'm back at number one boot camp, which is one of my favourite places to go in England. Um, I'm here for a week, so it's Sunday evening. I've just got here. Nobody else is here. They're all out on a walk. Um, so when they get back, I'll join in with the rest of the group and I'll see what the crack is for the rest of the week. So I'm here till Friday. It's a mint place to come just because, like, if you look around you, it's quiet. It's in the middle of nowhere. And for me, it just shows me how important exercise and eating well is for like my brain because i've been here before and always i've kind of gone away and just gone back to normal whereas the reason i'm here this time is to kind of kick start me into something so that is the warm-up dump we do that every day from seven o'clock till half seven um today is the first day that it's actually rained um considering we're in the middle of january that's not bad um but yeah so that's a warm up done, that's the first session out of seven done. Um, so yeah, just heart racing, um, ready to take on what's next. Hopefully, it's inside. <laughs> yes. So the time has come for me to leave number one boot camp. Um, it's my last day. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, go and see the trainers, get weighed in, and we'll find out how I've done on this first week. Um, I feel mint, you know, um, week getting back into it, kind of kickstart me into the new year and ready to take on what's about to happen. Hello, so I am Colson Smith and over the next six months I'm going on a little bit of a journey. So I play character Craig Tinker in Coronation Street. Craig Tinker is on a fitness journey. For Craig to be on a fitness journey, Colson's got to be on a fitness journey. So what I want to do is I want to show you every step of the way. I want you to be with me to basically show you how I'm going about doing it. Day one, going down. Um, what have I done? Been to work. I had my first breakfast. It was mint. I had a um, sweet potato. Um, like it's a little hash brown type thing. Black pudding. Sausage and chorizo. Which, and spinach. Um, which actually, mint, I, I, you wouldn't think, would you? Um, so, yeah, and then for lunch I had Thai green curry from Fit Chef. So I've just got this stuff here. So I'm going to the gym now. Got um, my water, I've got my protein for afterwards. Um, that's my protein, salted caramel, and then this casein is what I'm going to be taking at night. But yeah, um, day one, already, you know, Feeling mint, I'm up for it, I'm excited. Let's go. So I've just got home Monday. It's the third week in January. January is a long month. I've got my dinner cooking. So I made these yesterday actually, so that I could just chuck them in the pan because I knew I finished late today. But that, all that is is potato, ham, um, spring onion. And that's it. All mashed up, put in a bowl, like a potato cake. Really nice. Um, they're healthy. They're from this book, Pinch of Nom, which actually has a lot of good recipes in. So I'm going to cook most of the stuff. I've, I've gone through, I've found the stuff I like, so I'm going to cook quite a lot of stuff out of that. Try and get me into cooking evening meals. And I've also ordered their other book. Just had another delivery from my protein, just because it was getting heavy, the old protein shake. So I've ordered this one, which is basically orange squash, which is mint. Um, yeah, just been doing a scene as Craig where um, I'm running, hence the wet hair, fake sweat. Um, but yeah, so week three, feeling good, feeling mint, dinner's cooking, happy, chilled. Definitely starting to feel the benefits of um, 
like exercising regularly, like fitter. I'm definitely fitter in the gym. My mindset, like I'm I'm there now, I think. Well, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm there, but I'm, I'm getting to where, you know, I need to be. Um, yeah, healthier choices, smart thinking. So yeah, see you in a bit. So I made it all the way to the 1st of February. That's five weeks. Um, I can't even explain how much this whole thing has changed my mood. Um, I didn't really want to do the videos. And I was just thinking then, I said, I need I need to do it. I, I want to tell people because you can see the changes in how I feel, how I'm starting to look. I'm starting to feel great. My whole personality is changing. I'm happy. I'm excited. Um, and I'm even more excited because this week's food's just come. So I've got a new snack, which I had last week, and it was unbelievable. So I'm going to show you it. The brownies, they're made with coconut milk and coconut sugar, and they are unbelievable. And this, like, I'm already excited for food. Chicken and leek pie, like, oh. So I, I can't explain. I, I hope you can tell in the videos that... At the start, I was a little bit like, mm, and now I'm starting to, I mean, I'm full of cold today, which doesn't help. Um, but I'm really getting there with this. It, it's becoming easy. My training's great. I'm enjoying it. I've not enjoyed it in the past three days because I've been ill. I'm running. I'm doing all that kind of stuff. So, um, no, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. And hopefully, when, if I put these videos together, we'll be able to see that and it'll be able to come across. It's February, so I'm about, it's February the 17th, so I am eight weeks, seven, eight weeks in. I've lost four stone, like, oh, not, not in seven weeks, I was fucking Peter K. They lost a stone in a day. Uh, no, I've lost four stones since I started doing, um, like, the hypnotherapy stuff, which I'm going to go into more detail about later, but, um, the weight loss from January to now is just over two. And I can't actually explain how good I feel about life. You know, I'm so positive. It's the small stuff that I didn't realize I didn't, like I didn't ever want to take the washing. I didn't never want to do the washing because it was too much effort. Like uh, my fitness levels improving are changing my personality completely. Like I'm more confident. I'm enjoying life more. I'm holding myself better. Um, so yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy. What I want to try and do in the next few like weeks is film a little bit of me training, film a bit of me eating. Um, I've, I've been at boot camp again last week. Um, I had a great week there. Always do love the place. Um, but yeah, everything at the moment is really good. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to put everything together and kind of see how my mood's changed, because I know I, I didn't want to do the videos, and I'm still a bit skeptical, and you know, I kind of want to put everything on YouTube and go for it, but I'm gonna hold off, because I don't want to be that bell end that says this, that, and that, and does completely opposite. Um, so yeah, but no, at the moment I'm feeling really good, and I reckon I'll be able to notice a difference. So I think the more confident, the more I lose, the more confident I get, the more videos will come, and the better it will probably get, um, yeah. Cheers. I feel like I need to do one of them YouTube things like that. I get weighed in tomorrow. Last time I got weighed in, um, I was at four and a half stone. I'm hoping tomorrow I hit the five stone mark. Um, it's on screen. The story's just started on screen, um, which has been tough actually, because it means it's been picked up in the press. And I feel now like I'm a different person and I feel like I'm not, you know, that guy I was before Christmas. So now I'm seeing all these pictures of me where I'm proper fat. I'm seeing me on screen where I look massive. Uh, so that's been tough, but I kind of expected it, I guess. I know where I am. I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm doing it. It's normal. It's my life. I'm changing my life. I'm not on a diet. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, I'm off back to work. I'll see you in a bit. I don't quite know why I've not done these. I guess I could say I've been busy, uh, but I don't really know. I wanna start doing them again. I wanna keep on top of it. More because it just helps me. You know, everyone's talking about journey like, 
I guess, obviously, COVID's happened. Everyone wears masks now. We had lockdown. And in that time, I kind of just said to myself, right, this is my opportunity to find an excuse. And I basically flipped that around and said, you know what? I don't want to find an excuse. This is my opportunity, you know, to really step everything up and kind of just make make this a life. And I guess I have done. Um, and it's been a really fun, you know, four months, three months, whatever it's been. It, you know, it's been fun. And, you know, lucky enough, I have felt the benefits of it. So, you know, I, I know that I've lost weight. I know that I've changed um, in shape and size. I know that I feel fitter. I know that I am fitter. It is hard. It's really hard. Um, but it's not It's not impossible. You know, I think now you can kind of see that. Um, I haven't made loads of changes. I've not been on a massive diet, you know. All, all I get, is, as you've seen before, I get my breakfast, my lunch, and a snack from Fit Chef. That is it, yeah? My evening meal, I still have whatever I want. You know, I obviously keep it in reason. I understand what I'm eating. I think about what I'm eating. But, um, yeah, I, you know, people are like, oh, God, you must be eating a carrot. I'm like, I'm, do you know what? I've actually never eaten as much in my life. Um, I don't want to bore you with all this. I basically am only doing this as a commitment to myself to making more of an effort to doing this for me. Because, actually, you know, why would I make a film? Why would I make a documentary? You know, the only reason I do it is for me to showcase what I've done to myself. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, we're going to do this. We're going to make the effort. Watch this space. Why did I wink? Weirdo. I wanted to try and enjoy summer as much as I could. So, you know, I'd had a trip to London. I'd celebrated my birthday in style. You know, I've seen my mates at the weekends. I'd had barbecues. I'd had a decent cricket season with my friends. So I've been quite social. So basically, I have lived a mint life. I've lived the life that I wanted to live throughout summer and I've not put any weight on. So that is spot on. I've still been eating fit chef breakfast and lunch and dinner. Monday to Friday, I've been watching that evening meal. I've been really clever about it and I definitely have changed the whole way that I think about my food and I think about my day. Um, so that is mint. That's a massive box tick. I know that I found something that's sustainable, which I think from an outsider looking in, oh, that's it. That's Colson Dunny, sustainable, which... That's not that's not where I am, you know. Um, I have still have a problem with my weight. <laughs> still have a problem with the way I look, um, you know, and more problems than one. And now I kind of have decided that it's time for that next push. And that's not me saying I've not been working hard because I've been working fucking hard. You know, I've been, you know, my mileage when I run, I'm, I'll be hitting, I'll probably hitting a marathon a week um, running. Um, every other week I'm running a half marathon um, my running times are quick recently I've been trying to sub 20 minutes on a 5k um, so obviously that's shot on my distance but it's quite addictive and it's quite a big hit um, mixed up my training with a little bit of interval running fucking love running like cannot explain how much I love running I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that I am finding hard and it's not the food and it's not the training. And I don't want to sound like poor me, life's unfair. But yeah, there's some stuff that makes it not easy. <laughs> so yeah, um, what makes it hard? <laughs> right, basically, in my head, the reason I haven't been doing these videos Obviously, nobody has seen these videos. If anyone does see these videos, it's going to be at a point where I would say that I'm happy with a journey, which for me, I'll tell you now, we're talking fucking Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Like, you know, I, 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 it's not about, it's not about hitting a certain way. It's not about hitting this. It's about the way I want to look and it's about the way I want to feel. And now I've just got it in me that I just want to try it. And, you know, I want to have a go at, basically getting ripped, whatever you call it, um, getting hench, Judy Dench, <laughs> whatever it is. I just, you know, I know how I want to look in my head and I know that I'm going to work towards that and I know that I'm going to get there. Anytime I put a picture on Instagram, it's in the paper and 
it's a role. So it's, it's, you know, it's a really nice piece. People are really nice. People are really supportive. But for me, that is tough because I feel like I'm getting plaudits. I feel like I'm getting rewarded when I've not done what I want to do. So I need to kind of get my head around the fact of shutting everything out and shutting all that support out and all that positivity out and kind of using it as motivation and using it as encouragement because, I, like I say, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. I need to keep pushing. I need to keep going. And, you know, I am going to do that. When that tweet went out that um, compared me to Adele, I struggled with that big time. Um, more because... I said to my mum, it feels like I'm being clapped at half time in a football game and I've still got another half to go. And, you know, one, you don't want to take the reward and you don't want to take the compliment, which is why people might watch this now and think, what a knob. But that, that is me currently right now sat here on this day. I'm not ready to take that compliment. I don't feel like I've deserved it. I feel like I've got to work harder. You know, my main priority this year has really been fitness. And four months ago, I went for my first ever run and now probably the most important part of my day is run, is run, is running. Um, so yes, yeah, so obviously that's a big thing for me. Yeah, um, I might I might go back and watch the first of a video that I did today, just to see what I've been saying, see what's been going on. I might not. <laughs> Hello, um, first of October, officially ten months of. Um, the year, gone, and it's gone rapid. I can't tell you why it's gone so quick, but it has really flown by. Um, I feel great, I feel happy, I'm excited for the month. I know I've said our big push starts in October. It doesn't actually start until next week, um, only because I'm changing my meals to next week, so I'm getting breakfast, lunch, and dinner from Fit Chef. Whereas this week, the middle of the week, I still have my meals that I'm cooking myself um, on the evening. So today I'm going back to see my parents and whilst going back I thought I might as well sneak a workout in. So I'm going to see my old PT um, and hopefully I'm going to film some of what I'm doing just to keep filming my training and to keep saying where I'm at. So I'm just back from the gym, um, just did a chess session with Ben. Um, yeah, it was great. Um, it was good. It's the gym, it's done for the day. So today, what have I done? I've ran, I went to the gym, I walked on the treadmill for a bit uphill just to like rest really more than anything. Um, and then I did this chest session. So right now it is time for the best part of my day by a country mile. So I have been eating one of these every single day. That, I mean, get to eat a brownie every day, which is just mint. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna eat my brownie now and I'll see you in a bit.